gentle viewers, Hedda Lettuce here, live from New York City. I, um, got a question from someone on Facebook, and it was this kid named Christopher, let me see, I got the piece of paper. Kister, Christopher, Quinoa, Quinos, Quino, it's Latin, I can't pronounce it, I don't need to. Look at me. <laughs> Foreign tongues. Who cares about them? Um, 16 from New York City. He says, Hedda, letting go. It's about letting go. I'm so scared that one day I'm no longer to be going to be able to perform. I know that uh, that's a while from now, but still, how do you deal with knowing that one day you can't be the amazing performer you are today? Um, that's kind of like a backhand compliment kind of question. He's calling me talented, but he's also calling me old at the same time, saying, you're closer to the end than I am. Uh, you don't got much time left. You're going to be an old age gay homie with your sequin walker, you know, lip-syncing Rihanna, as uh, the old fags just clap their hands with their tambourines and their poppers, which they can't get, so they're just basically Elmer's glue sticks from the crafts table. And uh, he's young, and he's fresh, and he's got his whole life ahead of him, and mine's passed me behind, and I'm sitting here in my dotage, rocking back and forth, drinking a gimlet, uh, reflecting on my glory days, which there was about two. Uh, so it should take me, like, three minutes of reflection. Which is more than enough, actually, considering probably at that point I won't have much of a memory anyway. But what can I say about that? What have I thought about when the day comes when I'll no longer be the fabulously talented performer I am today? Well, I guess the whole thing is when one talent leaves, another one develops. So there I am in the old gay age, old home, whatever they call it. And I'm drooling and I'm pooping myself and I can barely stand and, you know, incontinence and dementia. And you know what I think to myself? You know what? You just got to do the best you got to do. I am going to be the most talented, best pooper in the entire old age home. I'm going to poop my diaper with such vim and vigor, people won't believe how much poop came out of me. I am going to drool like no one's drooled before. I am going to eat my pureed spinach and my pureed sweet potatoes, because I can't digest solid foods, like no one's ever slugged back pureed food before. I am going. I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, actually. And really, it doesn't matter. Is there a joke in this? Letting go. Letting go of your bowels. Letting go. I don't know what the joke is. But all I know is if you keep thinking about letting go, about things disappearing from your life, you can't really enjoy being in the moment. And you can't celebrate your talent today. So all I'm going to say to you, Christopher, is just live in today. Do not project. Do not project into the wreckage of your future. Live in today, enjoy what you have today, and as things start to fade away and change, other things will come into your life. Like, when one man leaves, another one comes. Hopefully on your tits. But that's all I have to say. Just live in the day, Christopher, okay? And for any of you out there right now, just live in today, not tomorrow. Because we only got what? Right now. Because you never know when a comet is going to hit and destroy your entire neighborhood. You just never know when these things are going to happen. So that's all I have to say, Christopher. So I hope that helped you. And remember, if you see something, don't say something. Mind your own fucking business. Bye.